Hey bro, welcome to my channel. Today, in this tutorial, I will show you how to fix PC blue screen of death with error code 0xc0000001. If you are also experiencing this problem, please be patient and watch this tutorial. There are three methods that will be used in the tutorial to more fully fix your computer problem. The text of the code used in them, I will also put in the description below the video. Please don't forget to give me a like if my tutorial can help you. Let's get started. First, let's look at the first method. Use safe mode to solve the problem. There are three options at the bottom of the interface. You need to press F8 to open the startup settings option. Then you need to click the restart option. Wait for the PC to reboot and enter the startup settings. Here we need to use the ninth option to disable automatic restart after failure feature. Press the number nine key at the top of the keyboard. Wait for the PC to restart and see if the error is resolved. Method two, use the command prompt to fix the faults. First, you need to turn on advanced startup. Press the power button to turn on your PC. Then while your PC is booting up, press and hold the power button to force it to shut down. Then repeat this operation again twice. Finally, press the power button to boot up the PC. Your PC will turn on the advanced startup options. Then you need to select troubleshoot and advanced options. Here, you need to select the use command prompt feature. Next, we need to execute the following command. SFC space slash scan now. Scan for system errors and fix them. CHK DSK space C colon space slash R. Scan the system disk for bad sectors and recover readable data. CHK DSK space C colon space slash F. Scan the system disk for errors and repair it. Boot rec space slash fix MBR. Repair the system master boot record. Boot rec space slash fix boot. Repair errors in the system boot partition. If you are prompted that access is denied, then you need to execute the next command. Boot sec space slash NT60 space SYS. Update the system partition boot code. Type the repair system boot partition command again. Okay, the command was successfully executed. Boot rec space slash rebuild BCD. Rebuild the boot configuration data store. The command may prompt to install the file or not. Just press Y to confirm. BCD boot space C colon slash slash windows space slash S space C colon. Recreate the BCD file. Okay, command execution completed. You need to close the command prompt. Then click the continue option to access the Windows system. Check if the Windows error repair is complete. If you find the operation of the above method cumbersome, I suggest you try the next method. Method 3, quickly repair the PC with PassFab FixiWin. Thanks to PassFab for sponsoring this video. Fixing Windows startup errors is easy and fast with PassFab FixiWin. If you are not familiar with computer repair function, I recommend you use PassFab FixiWin to fix Windows errors automatically. Click the link in the video description to download it. First, launch PassFab FixiWin on your other accessible computer. You'll need to insert an empty 4GB or larger USB. Then you need to click Create Now and Continue. Wait for the ISO file to download and finish burning. OK, the repair boot disk burning is complete. You will need to click View Detailed Tutorials. You can see how to boot USB in your PC and the subsequent process of fix you in here. OK, come to the faulty PC. Insert the USB boot disk you just created into your PC. Then you need to press the power button to start the PC. Then press the boot menu key continuously. I am using an HP PC and need to press Find. Select a USB drive and press Enter to boot. OK, wait for FixUIN to finish loading. 
you can then choose to perform an automated repair function. Click it. Then you need to select the computer system disk and click Start Repair. Fixuin's repair process takes 5 to 30 minutes and you need to be patient. Okay, the automatic repair is completed. You will then need to click Restart to start your Windows system. This completes the repair of the PC failure. Doesn't it feel much easier to operate? Okay, above is the fix for error code 0xcom. I hope my video helps you. If you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. It will help me greatly. If you have any other Windows error problems, please write in the comments. I will be releasing new videos to help you with Windows problems. Thanks for watching. Let's see you in the next video.